Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Neck. We have got live tournament action coming at you right now on MLG's Tottenham Altar. This is going to be a phenomenal matchup. We have got Bird Kicker going up against Valkyrie. This is good, good matchup here. Both of these guys, Grandmasters, I believe, at this point. Um, I'll have to check and make sure, but I, I think I just checked Valkyrie. He is a Grandmaster and a Bird Kicker Grandmaster. So that, I mean, this is our first... GM versus GM so far tonight going to be really really fun we're playing on Taldori Malter as I said it is best of one at this point so it's kind of sad to see to have to see one of our grandmasters going out of the tournament so soon but I mean it is what it is so we will get the fireworks out of the way right now it is going to be Protoss versus Terran I mean uh, how about Terran versus Zerg let's try that Terran versus Zerg bird kicker spawning as our orange Zerg in the top right in the bottom right, we do find Valkyrie spawning as the red Terran. Nice warm colors, which is nice, especially on a map like this that is so green. We'll make it very, very easy to spot all the movement on the minimap. Nice stuff there. But, I mean, not too much going on quite yet. Of course, we are still under two minutes into this game, so <laughs> I guess we don't really expect too terribly much. But out there on the live stream, you guys let me know who you think is going to win this one. I mean, we're talking Grandmaster versus Grandmaster here, so this is going to be brutal, brutal stuff. Bird Kicker in here with a little bit of scouting. He's got his drone here, and the scout for Valkyrie going in right now as well. Going to see what's going on. Did not see this hatchery going down, I don't believe. Let's check his vision. No, he didn't, but he is cruising mount back here. Going to check it now. There it is. Does see what's going on now. Good scouting here from Bird Kickers. Cruising around, trying to keep away from this SCV. Looks like he's doing an okay job there. Cruising out. He's seen enough for now. Does see the one refinery. Single gas that tells you a lot about what your Terran opponent is going to be doing. Even at the three-minute mark. So uh, the command center going to be morphing right into an orbital command right now. Oh my goodness, Bunker! We are about to see a little bit of a Bunker Rush here from Valkyrie. And it's scouted right away here by Bird Kicker. So, did have his Overlord in good placement to get that taken care of. I like what he's doing here, focusing... Oh, no, he's not. I thought he was going to be focusing down that SCV. However, he's not. the snipe on one of those guys ah <laughs> look at the dancing that is so funny gonna have to back out however nicely done defense there by a uh, bird kicker and the single marine being pretty stinking scary gonna be chasing these guys off for just a moment here comes another reinforcing marine this SCV is scooting on out of there, so it looks like Valkyrie is going to be backing out here. He's just going to kind of poke around, try and do a little bit of damage before things get too hot, and apparently they are already. A couple of Zerglings on the field, more on the way. Valkyrie going to be backing out, so let's take a look at what he's got going in his base. We have got a factory looking like, oh, whoa, maybe not Hellions. I was about to say Hellions, but he is going for a second refinery, so maybe either Blue Flame Hellions straight to tanks, or we might be seeing... Um, some uh, starport play here in just a moment as well. This could be very, very interesting. Let's take a look at the economy here for just a moment. Solid economy from both players. Not too much difference there. Slight advantage probably there for Valkyrie because he does have that mule advantage now. Going to be pretty good. Bunker going down here at the choke for his natural. Almost got that completed. Going to be tossing a couple marines in there for defense. Should anything decide to come by. Another supply depot going down here. That will prevent a perfect surround, I guess, on the bunker. Makes it just a little bit easier to defend sometimes to have a couple extra buildings to absorb some damage. Choke those units down just a little bit. Bird Kicker looking pretty solid right now, though. He does have his expand up and running pretty good. His main saturated pretty heavily, though, so I'm, I'm interested why he's not saturating his uh, expand quite as much but there's definitely a difference there between those two bases here comes our first hellions three of them cruising out across the map no blue flame quite yet 
Wow, one going down almost immediately. Nice control there by Bird Kicker. And a, th well, now it's a third, but it would have been a fourth. Hellion joining the party. These guys going to cruise around. They are not going to see anything going on at this expand quite yet. We are only seven minutes into the game. However, that is not too terribly early for Bird Kicker if he wants to get aggressive economically to have taken an expand. These guys are going to wait around probably for Blue Flame to finish. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Nope, Blue Flame has not even started yet. Oh, tanks. We're going straight for tanks, which makes sense. We do have double gas here. He's going to need to spend that gas ASAP. Look at that, it's floating quite a bit of gas right now. 600 almost. Not often you get to see a guy at this level floating that much gas. Of course, Bird Kicker on the other side of it is floating 500, nearly 600 minerals. So uh, kind of an interesting difference there. However, those that gas is so much more useful, let's say, uh, that you really have got to keep keep good tabs on your gas resource. I think it's a good one to try and keep super low. That's okay. Probably going to be spending it here fairly soon. He's got a couple barracks going down. Tech labs going down it looks like. So double tech right now. Tanks coming out on the field. No siege tech quite yet. Doesn't expect too much harassment from his opponent quite yet. Looks like he Bird Kicker is going to be going for this expand here. His third base. Nice. This is pretty good timing, it looks like. Not too far behind at all. That is for sure. Oh, and look at this. A macro hatch. He is going to be gearing up. For, looks like probably three base a timing attack, I'm guessing, here for Bird Kicker with this macro hatch. Does have his spire. May try and get a little bit tricky. Doing some serious kind of harassment, probably with some mutilisks. We'll see if that's what he's going to do. That's my guess at this point. He is going to be saving up a lot of gas for that, it looks like. And the Spire is going to pop here in just a moment. Going to gear up for an expand. There goes the expand. The defense here from Valkyrie, not too bad. And is he going to be moving out? It looks like he is. Scouted here right away by Bird Kicker. Bird Kicker going to be preparing himself for this. Nice creep spread so far. He does have quite a few Zerglings on the field. Going to need maybe just a little bit more than that. Probably another unit to mix in there at least. Just to get a slight unit, different unit composition. This queen needs to get the heck out of there. She is about to get sniped. Here comes the Zerglings. Are they going to be able to clean this up? That's quite a few Zerglings. These Sage Tanks are split up pretty well, but all of the Marines going down. So nice defense there by Bird Kicker. Very, very well done. And here comes the harass. Sorry about that. I'm trying to take care of our Korean Grandmaster in this tournament. Nice harass going down here with these mutas. Looks like he's going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. Stim being utilized here to try and push these guys out of the base. No missile turrets going down quite yet. So I'm a little bit interested as to why. Looks like a Valkyrie feels pretty comfortable cruising his marines around to deal with this which is pretty nice i mean he has got the micro skills for that let's take a look at apm for just a moment look at that average of 206 for bird kicker pretty solid stuff and the third now for bird kicker up and running pretty solid Wow, he is very heavily saturated all of his bases right now. Looking pretty good. Taking a fourth right now.
All right, so cruising out across the map here, Stim being utilized already. He does have a couple medevacs here in tow. Those are going to be useful keeping these, uh, trying to keep these Marines alive, these Banelings. Oh, good kiting. Looks like he's going to try to keep these guys alive. He's got to do it. Otherwise, these tanks are all going to get taken out, and down they go. Bird Kicker now looking to be in pretty good shape. These medevacs, the only units, except for two extremely scared marines, the only ones that made it out of that poor little exchange there. <coughs> a bird kicker looking to be in great shape, cruising in here with a lot of bailing still. And there's the GG from Valkyrie. Congratulations to bird kicker. He will be moving on in this tournament. We are super sad to be missing Valkyrie, though, in the remainder of this tournament. My goodness, though, what a nice game. Great control there from both players. Bird Kicker coming out on top. Don't alt-tab. Always alt-Starcraft, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you guys next time.